Here we are, uh, we're going to simplify, add, and subtract. So remember the idea with the simplifying is that you're trying to find factors that are on the top and the bottom. So like number 1, 30 could be like 5 times 6, and then x squared, x times x. 25 would be like 5 times 5 times x times x times x. So 5 on top and bottom, and 2 x's, that would leave us with 6 over 5x, which is the simplified version. Okay, number 2. 4 times 4 b's over 16, which is 4 times 4, and 5 b's. So all 4 of those b's would be eliminated. 4's would, um, and there's a negative out front. So when we eliminate everything, it's like there's still a 1. So it would be negative 1 over 4b. Now sometimes... Um, we need to factor these further. So like this one, we can use the area model to help us factor it. We get n squared, 81. Factors of 81 that would add up to 18 would be 9 and 9. So 81 is really 9 times 9. So we could pull out an n, pull out a 9, pull out an n, and the other 9. They're positive. So we'd end up with n plus 9 times n plus 9. Okay, so we have the fraction n plus 9 over n plus 9 times n plus 9. Okay, now some people would try to el eliminate the n's and the 9's somehow, but you can't unless it's being multiplied like this and I can eliminate the whole thing. And then I would end up with 1 over n plus 9. Okay. So on question 5, let's jump down to question 5. It's a similar situation. Okay, Using that area model, you come up with, and I'm not going to do that now, you would come up with p minus 5 times p plus 4. And so the p minus 5s would elim be eliminated, and we'd end up with 1 over p plus 4 for our answer. Okay. Now let's take a look at 4, 6, and 8. So on these ones, um, you're going to see what you can, how you can simplify this bottom one. So if I have 14v and I have negative 12, I can think of it like this. 2 times 7 times v, negative 1 times 2 times 6. So I could eliminate the 6 or pull out a 6, not eliminate it, I shouldn't say. And I'd be left with 7v. Oh, not 17, 7v, and then negative 6. So my bottom is 2 times 7v minus 6. The top, 10, could be 2 times 5v. So we could eliminate the 2s, giving us this as our fraction. 5v over 7v minus 6, okay? Now it would be right there. So um, 6, I've got 2a and negative 6. Well, that's 2 times a, negative 1 times 2 times 3. So on the top, it would be 2 times a, then minus 3. Now we've got 3 minus a, and if you remember, we can pull out a negative 1, giving us negative 3 plus a, or a minus 3. So on the bottom, we'd have negative 1 times a minus 3. So I can eliminate the a minus 3's. My answer would be 2 over negative 1 or just negative 2. Okay. 8, same idea. I've got 10n and 18. So I can pull out, that's like 2 times 5 times n, 2 times 9. So I can pull out a 2 and be 2 times 5n plus 9 over 14n and 6. It's like 2 times 7 times n, 2 times 3. So 2 times 7n plus 3. So we can eliminate the 2s, and then we're left with this. And we can't simplify that further. Okay? So now 7 kind of combines some of these. Okay? 
So the top here I need to simplify. So factors of 28 that would equal negative 11. Well, 4 and 7, they're both negative. So on the top I'd get n minus 4 times n minus 7 over then 3n and negative 21. I could pull out a 3. I'd be left with n minus 7. So the n minus 7s cancel, and we get n minus 4 over 3 for our answer. Okay? Now, on number 9, I can start off with these here. So let's go 49x squared. Could be like 7 times 7 times x times x. Negative 63x would be like negative 1 times 7 times 9 times x. So I can pull out an x and a 7. So on the top I'd get 7x times 7x minus 9. Then on the bottom, what I should note first is that 14, 14, and 28, and they each have an x. I can actually pull out a 14x, and that would leave me with a 2x squared minus x minus 2. Actually not a 2x squared, just an x squared. So I'd have 14x times x squared minus x minus 2, which I could further simplify this to be x minus 2 times x plus 1. But I don't have to because that can't help me eliminate anything here. But 14, that's like 2 times 7, so the 7s and the x's can eliminate, so I'm left with 7x minus 9 over 2x squared minus 2 minus 4. Or I could go 2 times x minus 2 x plus 1. So that one gets kind of crazy. Okay, now number 10 on the top, factors of 7 that would equal negative 4, uh, 2 and 5 if they're both negative. So I get x minus 2 times x minus 5 over, now I can pull out a 2 first and get 2 times r squared minus 8r plus 15. Okay, factors of 15 that would equal negative 8 negative 5 and negative 3, so I'd have x minus 3, 2 out in front, times x minus 5. So we can eliminate the x minus 5s, and we're left with x minus 2 over, we can either keep it like this, or we could write it like this. Okay? So there's our simplifying. Now we're going to be adding and subtracting. And with adding and subtracting, first we have to make sure the denominators are the same, then we can deal with simplifying them. So, denominators are the same, so I just add the tops. There's nothing there that can be combined, so it's u plus 4v plus 2 over 12u squared v. Can't simplify the top any further, so that's my answer. Okay, 12, we've both got 10ys already, so I'm going to go 5x minus 4y minus x minus a negative 4y, which would be plus 4y. So negative 4y, positive 4y's, 4y's cancel. 5x minus x would be 4x, all over 10y. Can I simplify this further? Sure. 4 is like 2 times 2, and 2 times 5. So 2's cancel, and I'd have 2x over 5y. But if you got just that far, I'm happy with that. But either one would work. Okay, so when they have the same denominator, it actually makes it pretty simple, right? So same denominator, 5v minus v, we'd have 4v plus u over 15u squared v cubed. 14, um, we have x minus x, so that would eliminate the x's. Negative 3y minus negative 3y would be negative 6y over 20y cubed. Number 15, 4m plus 5 minus m, that would be 3m. 5 minus 6 would be 
minus 1 over 5m squared minus 19m plus 12. Now, we'd normally call that good. Um, we could, however, try to find the uh, factors of this one, which would be pretty complex, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, what you could do, though, is graph it. That's always a good way to check for your answers to see if there's something there that could be eliminated. And I don't think there is. So we'll just we'll just worry about leaving it like that. Okay, 16, same denominator. So k plus 5 plus 3 would give us k plus 8, which is 4k cubed plus 24k squared. Now on this one, that's like 4 times k times k times k. And 24k would be like, squared would be 4 times 8, or 3 times 8, sorry. 4 times 6, wouldn't that be? times k times k. So I could pull out a 4 and k squared, and I'd be left with k plus 6, which I was thinking maybe we could get it to be k plus 8, but we can't, so it doesn't help. But say this was 3k, then we could have pulled out a 3k squared and been left with k plus 8, and we could have eliminated things. But because we can't do that, because it's actually... Four, there's our answer. Okay. N minus N would be zero. Negative two minus two would be negative four. Over N squared minus three N minus ten. So that's all we have to do. Eighteen. Um, K plus K would be two K. Negative six plus two, negative four. Over four K squared plus... 12k. We could try to simplify these and get k minus 2, but then we'd have 4k and it would be k plus 3. So that wouldn't quite work, but either one would be acceptable. All right, now we're going to get to where they're more difficult. So now we don't have common denominators, so we've got to make them common. So the easiest way to do that is just to times them by the other one. So the thing is, we have to remember that we have to multiply the top by the same thing. So now my common denominator is p plus 1 times p minus 2, okay? Then 4 times p would be 4p, four, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 times p is 2p, 2 times 2 is minus 4. So then I simplify that, and we end up with 6p. 4 minus 4 would just be 6p over p plus 1 times p minus 2. And we can call that good. Okay, 20, same idea. Multiply by 5k minus 3. So 3k and 5k would give us 15k squared minus 9k over that whole thing. subtracted from, and this one we times by k plus 4, so we'd get 3k squared plus 12k over that same thing, k plus 4, 5k minus 3, so 3k squared minus 15k squared would give us a negative 12k squared. Then 12 minus a negative 9, that would be like plus 9, so plus 21k over that whole thing. Which, that's pretty much all we can do, so we call that one good. Alright, now Sometimes we can try to simplify this because that can sometimes make it a little easier. 
So I could pull out a 2, and I would have a 2x, actually. And I would have uh, x plus 4. That doesn't really help us a whole lot, does it? doesn't make it easier to find a common denominator, other than we wouldn't necessarily have to multiply by an x. So the easiest thing we can probably do is just multiply them. So 2x squared plus 8x on the top and the bottom. So I get 5x times 2x squared would be 10x cubed plus 40x squared over that multiplied on the bottom. That's going to be our common denominator. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just write this down for the end unless I feel like I want to simplify something further. Okay, So this would be times by 3x. That would be plus. And so this would exist right here, but I just hate writing them. So 6x times 3x would be 18x squared. So then 40 plus 18x squared would give us 10x cubed plus 58x squared. Okay. Then we could see if there's anything we could pull out, which we can at least pull out some x's, right? Um, and probably 2. So it would be 2x squared times 5x plus... Um, Twenty-nine over, we could pull out an x and a 2, we'd have 6x squared times x plus 4, which 6 is 2 times 3, so the 2's in the x squared, so we'd end up with 5x plus 29 over 3 times x plus 4, or 3x plus 12, if we wanted to try to, but if you leave it like that, I'm fine with that too, okay? All right, 22. So times this by x plus 4, times this by x minus 2. Another thing I do is then just make it all into one fraction, and then just apply that to this part which you have to kind of be careful of. So I'd go 2x and x would be 2x squared. 2x and negative 2, negative 4x. Then I'd go like a negative 6. So negative 6 times x would be a negative 6x. Negative 6 times 4, negative 24. So I'd end up with 2x squared minus 10x minus 24. Um, then technically we could pull a 2 out of that and get x squared minus 5x minus 12. And then you'd have to determine, are there any factors of negative 12 that would add up to negative 5? And I don't believe there are. So we can just leave it like this and call it good. I could, if I really wanted to, change this and make it, you know, multiply it out and make it x squared plus 2x minus 8. That's only if I really wanted to. Alright, so now we just keep increasing difficulty. Still the same denominator, so I'm just adding the tops. m and 2m will give us 3m. Negative 1 plus negative 1 minus 2 over 5m cubed plus 10m squared minus 120m. We could call that good. Technically, I should probably pull out a 5m, which would give me m squared plus 2m minus 24, which then I could see that that becomes m minus 4 times m plus 6, but none of those would eliminate that, so really I don't have to do it. That's why I say if you can just get the addition part down, I'm happy with that because that other stuff can be tricky to deal with. Okay, so this one, same denominator, so x and x would give us 2x, negative 6 and 1, minus 5, 
over 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 16x. And we'd call that good. Now, if I pulled out a 4 and an x, I'd have 4x times x squared minus 3x minus 4, which would be x minus 4 times x plus 1, which doesn't match up with that, so we couldn't do that. So we just leave it how it is. 25, same denominator, x and 6x give me 7x, negative 1 and negative 2 minus 3 over the 2x squared minus 9x plus 9. Again, I could try to factor. These ones are a lot harder to factor. But you could also graph it and find the zeros and kind of work backwards to the factors. Um, but it would only matter if you ended up with 7x minus 3, which you won't, so we'll leave it like that. Okay. 26, still the same denominator. So... I get x, negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Sorry about that. Something decided to play on my computer and make noise. Okay. So we end up with that. Now we could pull a 3 out of all of these and get x squared plus 5x plus 4. But that would only end up being x plus 1 times x plus 4. And it wouldn't be x plus 7, so we couldn't simplify it. So we'll leave it that way. All right, now 27, now we don't have the common denominator. So, I'm going to have to multiply this side by 3, and this side by x squared plus x minus 6. So when I do that to the top and the bottom, so I'd end up with 2x squared plus x minus 12 over that whole denominator, right? which would be 3x squared plus 3x minus 18 plus 5 times 3 would be 15 over 3x squared plus 3x minus 18. Then we combine. We get 2x squared plus x plus 3 over 3x squared plus 3x minus 18. Okay? Then... <laughs> We would probably want to simplify these to double check to see if any of them would give us factors that match up. I doubt they do, but sometimes they do. Um, but it doesn't look like they do here. So I think we're good. So that would be our answer for 27. All right, last three. So I'll multiply this by 2k plus 1. So I'd get plus 6k squared plus 3k on top on the right side. Left side we times by k plus 1. So I get 3k plus 3 all over k plus 1 times 2k plus 1. Okay. So combining, I'd have 6k squared plus 6k plus 3 over k plus 1 times 2k plus 1. Okay. Technically, I should pull a 3 out of that and get 3 times 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. And I would factor that to see if I got any that matched up. Okay. So... Um, we do the box method and we go 2k squared, 1. Then we go 1 times 2 to give me 2. Factors of 2 that add up to 2. That won't work, will it? So I think we're good and knowing that it's not going to pan out that way. All right, 29. So for 29, uh, we could pull a 6 out. 6, and we'd have a k plus 6 left over, but that really doesn't help us. So, we'll just k plus 3 on the right side, and then 6k plus 36 on the left side. So we'd end up with 2 times 6 would be 12k 
2 times 36 would be 72. Then negative 3k times k would be negative 3k squared. Negative 3k times negative 3, negative 9k. Those two could combine, so we'd end up with negative 3k squared plus 3k plus 72 over 6k plus 36 times k plus 3. And we would call that one good. All right, then the last one. Okay, times the left side by 6 times the right side by p squared plus 8p plus 12. So we end up with... 6p squared plus 48p plus 72 as our denominator times 6p by 5 or 6 by 5p would be 30p minus 2 times p squared would be 2p cubed plus 16p squared plus 24p okay then simplify that, negative 2p cubed plus 16p squared plus 54p all over 6p squared plus 48p plus 72. Now, once again, we could try to simplify these to see if any of them match up. But most likely they don't, so when they get this crazy, usually we just call it good there. All right, there we go, guys.